Ah, Christmas, a time for family, food, decorations, and of course, traditions. Traditions like watching Love Actually every December, wearing your favorite ugly Christmas sweater, and having a rap battle with a festive horse skull. Nadole Krauen, History Heroes. I'm Tempest, and welcome to Time with Tempest, where today we're going to be talking about one of the greatest Christmas traditions of all time, the Mari Lloyd. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to see what hidden history I uncover next. Now, let's begin our story. While the idea of a heathen horse prowling the night in search of festivities and feasting during Christmas may be bizarre, it makes perfect sense when you consider the timing. You see, Christmas isn't actually Christmas. The Bible never actually gave a date for Jesus' birth. And as historians have pointed out, it is a little odd that shepherds are tending to their flock in the dead of winter. That's because Christmas is actually just a mishmash of different pagan holidays, from the Roman Saturnalia to the Germanic people's Yule. So when people were converted to Christianity, the Christians figured, they're already celebrating anyway, why don't we just give it a new name? That's why we still have traditions like mistletoe, Santa Claus, caroling, and of course, the Mari Lloyd. The first written record of the Mari Lloyd was in the book A Trip Through Part of North Wales in the year 1798 and at other times by J. Evans. The book records the tradition then as, A man on New Year's Day, dressing himself in blankets and other trappings, with a fictitious head like a horse, and a party attending him. Knocking for admittance, this obtained, he runs about the room with an uncommon frightful noise, which the company quit in real or pretended fright. They soon recover, and by reciting a verse, or, in default, paying a small gratuity, they gain admission. Though the tradition was first mentioned in the late 18th century, it was celebrated long before that, and the Mari Lloyd's name reveals her pagan origins. Mari, probably referring to the English word for mayor, and Lloyd, the word for grey in Welsh. Grey mares are a part of ancient British and Celtic folklore, seen as beings who can move between the realms of the living and the dead. This may be why the Mari Lloyd is represented by a horse skull, albeit a very colourful one. You see, the Mari Lloyd has taken on a life of its own in the 21st century. While earlier interpretations of the Mari Lloyd depict her as creepier and less festive, Today's Mari Lloyd has really gotten into the holiday spirit. With brightly colored ribbons for hair, baubles adorning her face, a white cloaked body, and sometimes even LED lights, she certainly is quite cute. Snapping jaw and all. In parts of Wales, like Glamorgan, the Mari Lloyd will appear around Christmas time with a party of equally festive people. They will approach a house demanding to be let in so they may partake in food and drink. But instead of the Mari Lloyd simply asking to be let in, she challenges the homeowner to an epic pagan rap battle. Combining poetry and song, the company will sing a verse requesting they come in. The homeowner will then respond with an excuse and thus, the great debate has begun. Going back and forth, they'll insult each other and make dirty jokes. The Mari Lloyd will make demands and the homeowner will make excuses until finally the homeowner loses. And they always lose. I mean, seriously, who doesn't want to host the Mari Lloyd in their house? To show you just how this tradition works, take a look at this archival footage from 1966 showing a typical Mari Lloyd interaction. Well the morning the word go back on the new word the oven hunger not 
Once inside, this jovial being runs around the home snapping her undead jaws and neighing, frightening children, stealing things, and causing complete chaos. Kind of like Mr. Blobby after one too many drinks. Her posse will add to the chaotic atmosphere with traditional music and merriment, all the while partaking in the host's food and drink. This sequence of events is similar to the aforementioned Anglo-Saxon caroling. Called wassailing, it involves people going door to door to ring in the new year, singing and blessing homeowners with good cheer. The name wassailing comes from an Anglo-Saxon greeting which translates to be in good health to which the response was, drink and be healthy. How very British. It appears that oftentimes the participants would receive food and drink for their efforts, especially given their work on a cold winter's night. This eventually evolved into what we now know as caroling, though it's probably not the best idea to invite carolers into your home anymore. It's carol singers. Well, give them a quid and tell them to bugger off. The Mari Lloyd also ties into the Scottish tradition of first footing, where the first being inside the house on New Year's brings luck to the household for the rest of the year. The first footer is usually accompanied by some very rowdy entertainment and whiskey, who all come into the home to partake in additional drink and food. Nowadays, the luckiest first footer is considered to be a tall, dark, and handsome man. But if we're being honest here, the Mari Lloyd is way more fun and is considered to be better luck. So... I'm gonna go with Wales on this one. These ancient British and Celtic traditions embody some aspects of the Mari Lloyd and could have either inspired it or been inspired by it, but the horse skull is a unique Welsh addition. Though there was a time, this tradition almost died. By the mid 20th century, it was getting harder and harder to find the Mari Lloyd prowling the streets at Christmas. But just as the magic of the Mari Lloyd began to fade, folk clubs and families alike revived her and let her continue her reign of mischief. And while it is still an isolated tradition, efforts have been made to spread the Mari Lloyd across Wales. Recently, a folk group in Wales has been hosting workshops in schools and communities to encourage more people to celebrate Christmas with the Mari Lloyd. They made a book about the history of the Mari Lloyd and included traditional verses to sing should she approach your door. Don't worry, there's English translations. They also have a flat pack so you can create your very own cardboard Mari Lloyd, horse skull not included. Or if you're in Wales, you might just find the Mari Lloyd prowling your streets and spreading holiday cheer at your local pub. Can't make it to Wales this Christmas? Don't worry, you can still celebrate. How about trying on the Mari Lloyd Snapchat filter for size? Or playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla? where your character can dress up as the hellish horse on Samhain. Maybe you even want to make your own Mari Lloyd. After all, we could all use a bit of cheer this holiday season. And who doesn't need good luck going into the new year? Happy holidays, history heroes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. I will be back with more videos in the new year. But in the meantime, if you liked what you saw, remember to subscribe, distribute your delight, or leave your calling card in the comments below because the YouTube algorithm gods demand it. Until next time, stay curious, history heroes. Oh, don't bite, don't bite. <laughs> hey. Bindi. Mm, what you say? Jesus. No. Don't bite.